Douglas DB-7A-20 Aircraft Manufacturing History One of the most famous twin-engine bombers of World War II, the Douglas DB-7A-20 Havoc Boston had quite a long history. In March 1936, the Northrop Company began to proactively design a twin-engine attack aircraft under the designation Model 7A, an all-metal high plane with retractable tricycle landing gear with a nose strut, under the direction of E. Heinemann. In 1937, the U.S. Army announced official requirements for the new attack aircraft, speed of at least 200 miles per hour, range 1,200 miles, and a bomb load of 1,200 pounds. The Model 7A M Eastern timed the speed requirements, but had a smaller bomb load. The design was revised to include more powerful or 1830 S3C3G engines, doubled the fuel supply, and increased the estimated bomb load to 2,000 pounds. The forward part of the fuselage could be glazed, with a place for the navigator bomber, or DEF, with a machine gun battery, in the first case, the crew consisted of three people, in the second two. The defensive armament in both versions consisted of two 0.3-inch machine guns in the upper and lower retractable turrets. The plane was designated the Model 7B, and its design was done by Douglas, which absorbed Northrop, and where E. Heinemann now worked. The contest held in July 1938, the winner was not declared, and participating firms were invited to build one prototype for comparative testing. The 7B prototype took off for the first time on October 26, 1938. During the tests, the machine showed good speed, excellent maneuverability for a twin-engine plane and absence of any unpleasant piloting peculiarities. The plane flew both nose-section versions, which were made interchangeable. Although the U.S. military was in no hurry to buy the plane yet, and the prototype crashed on January 23, 1939, the Douglas product was a commercial success, the plane was ordered by France. On August 17, 1939, a new prototype, designated DB-7, which had been finalized in accordance with French requirements, took off, and in October production of serial machines began. Total production was 7,478 aircraft. Douglas Aircraft Performance Engines, Pratt & Whitney R1-830 S3C4, GE Power, HP, 1200. Wingspan, 61.25 feet. Length of aircraft, 46.98 feet. Height of aircraft, 15.85 feet. Wing area, 464 square feet. Weight, Ton. Empty airplane, 5,701 tons. Takeoff weight, 9,521 tons. Maximum speed, 295 miles per hour. Ceiling height, 25,705 feet. Range, 995 miles. Combat use of Douglas A-20s In the U.S. Army Air Forces, shipments of Douglas A-20s to combat units began in the spring of 1941. In 1942, the deployment of groups of Boston fighters to Great Britain began. The first to arrive was the 15th Bombardment Squadron, whose crews began combat operations in July, flying on aircraft handed over by the British. From November 1942 the 47th Group, armed with a 20 BS, fought in Algeria. From the middle of 1943 it operated in Sicily and then in continental Italy, gradually shifting from day raids to night operations. Operation Overlord, the Normandy landing of June 1944, involved 3A-20G divided by J groups, 409th, 410th, and 416th, which were part of the 9th Air Army. In addition to supporting the landing troops, the Bostons were engaged to strike the launching positions of V-1 projectile aircraft. In the fall of 1944, all three groups redeployed to France. The 410th Group in September 1944 participated in attempts to assist the British paratroopers at Arnhem, and then all three groups bombed the Siegfried Line fortifications on the German border. 
In December the Bostons took a very active part in repelling the German counteroffensive in the Ardennes. By that time the 416th Group had already received new A-20 CXS and the 409th began to master them. Douglas A-20 Boston in the USSR in August 1942, the American Boston made its debut in the Pacific Theater as part of the 89th Bomber Squadron fighting in New Guinea. Until the end of 1943, it was the only A-20 unit in that theater. By the beginning of 1944 the Boston bombers had staffed the 3rd Group completely, and then the 312th and 417th Groups joined it. The planes were used as ground attack aircraft, striking ground and sea targets. At the end of 1944, all three groups were transferred to the Philippines. After the destruction of Japanese forces in the archipelago, the A-20s were engaged in raids on Formosa. The last unit to fight the Boston in the Pacific was the 417th Berg, redeployed to Okinawa in August 1945. After the end of World War II, the A-20s were quickly withdrawn from service in the United States. A total of 3,128 Boston aircraft of various modifications were sent to the USSR. Although only 2,917 machines reached their destination, the USSR became the largest operator of aircraft of this type, only about 2,000 A-20s served in the U.S. Army Air Forces. Deliveries of aircraft began in late 1941. First in May 1942, 794th Bomber Aviation Regiment went into battle on the Southern Front, and in the summer of 1942 at the front were the whole divisions, staffed by Boston-221 SC in the Southwestern Front and the 244th in the Caucasus. The composition of the latter was increased to five regiments, and in this form it participated in the Battle of Stalingrad. In the foothills of the Caucasus Bostons were also used for the 132nd BRA. Beginning in the fall of 1942 the USSR conducted systematic improvements of small arms of the delivered planes, they were equipped with the Soviet 12.7mm machine guns. By the spring of 1943 there were about 400 Bostons on the Soviet-German front, almost all of them in the south, 163 on the Transcaucasian front, 108 on the Southwestern Front, 101 on the North Caucasus, 24 in the South. The 221st Division in July 1943 took part in the Battle of Korsk Bulge. Since 1943 Bostons were widely used in naval aviation. In January 1943 they began to be used by the 36th BAP of the Air Force of the Black Sea Fleet, and soon this type of plane became the main Soviet torpedo carrier. In this capacity, the Boston made its debut in the summer of 1943 in the 9th GVMTAP of the Northern Fleet Air Forces. In the middle of the year, the replacement of Boston MK.HI and a 20 B divided by C aircraft with new A-20 GS began. Such airplanes took part in all big operations of the final stage of the war in Belarusia, Yashkishinev, East Prussia, and others. They were also used in mine torpedo regiments of naval aviation. By May 1, 1945, the Air Force had 995 Boston bombers, two-thirds of which were A-20G variants. In the war with Japan the A-20GS of the Pacific Fleet, by early August the Navy had 58 of them, bombed targets in Korea, and about 30 A-20H divided by K of the 903rd Regiment, which made several combat missions over the Kuril Islands. Thereafter the Bostons were operated in the Soviet Air Force until the early 1950s and in the naval aviation until 1953.